So one thing I really want to talk about is the Wii U. And as people know, the current news with the Wii U is that Nintendo is ending online support, I believe in April? I think it's ending in April. Uh, I don't know the exact date, but I mean, we're pretty, Wii U's online is pretty much on live support at the moment. I think people are starting to scramble and try and play as many games as they can online before that ends. Uh, but yeah, I think by April, that's going to be one more thing that Nintendo has gutted from the Wii U. I mean, the Wii U at this point is like, it's like a fish. You know, Nintendo just caught this fish out of the ocean. They've just sliced it open, gutted it, and taken all of its entrails out. And so people will just, you know, I guess like the casual gamer or fan just probably just thinks, you know, that, you know, the Wii U's shit. It's not good. Um... And yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. I think the Wii U in its current state is a terrible console. It's not a good console anymore. It sucks. Um, it's just lost all of its great features like Miiverse. Uh, the online is going to be lost. The eShop's now gone. A lot of its great games have moved to the Switch. I mean, the console on its own is just... Yeah, it's just not, not, not a great console anymore. However, it does have some redeeming factors. I don't know if a lot of people actually know this, but the Wii U can actually play almost every single Zelda game uh, that's been released. Especially the main, uh, the home console games. If, if you're looking for, uh, if you're looking to play all the Zelda games, the Wii U is literally the ultimate Zelda powerhouse. I've talked about this on my channel before, but I just want to go over it again because I think it's one of like the greatest things about the Wii U. The, this thing can play uh, Zelda from the NES, the SNES, the Nintendo 64, um, the GameCube because you know we got the Wind Waker remaster on the Wii U and it's only been released on Wii U and GameCube. We also have the Twilight Princess remake We've also got the original Twilight Princess, and you've got to also remember, Breath of the Wild also released on the Wii U um, originally. So, yeah, I mean, th that's one of the that's why I bought my Wii U originally is because I wanted um, like a console just to have all my Zelda games just on it and being able to like click the icon and play it. And you know, if that's what if you want a place to have all the, your Zelda games, the man, the Wii U is just it's a really good console to have all your Zelda games. But I mean, apart from that, I mean, the Wii U is just, it's not a great console. However, however, we get into this different realm. We get into new territory. This is when the Wii U goes from, it goes from the equivalent of being a Krillin or a Yamcha from Dragon Ball Z to Super Saiyan God Goku. And that's when you get into the homebrew scene. One, something a lot of people might not know is that the Wii U has a lot of untapped potential. When you get into homebrew for the Wii U, this thing is a freaking powerhouse. You do not understand how many games this thing can play on how many different systems, how many features the Wii U can have. The community itself has literally turned <laughs> what is essentially one of the worst consoles ever into one of the greatest consoles ever. And I'll tell you why. So, there's a few different ways to homebrew your console. I think the first one was like, um, I don't even remember what the first one was called. It was like Hitachi or something like that. I don't know. Um, and then there was Tiramisu, which is what I've actually done. But then there's the new one called the Aroma Homebrew. And this thing just brings life to the Nintendo Wii U. Some of the main features that it can do, your Wii U can be region free, which means you can play Japanese games, you can play PAL games, you can play uh, NTS, is it NTSC or NTSJ? I can't remember. Which, wherever you're from, you can play games from all over the world. That's a great thing. The other awesome feature is you can install your physical games on a Wii U's hard drive. Why is this important? Well, as people you know, the Wii U games and just discs in general can get a thing called disc rot. And basically what happens is over time, your disc essentially rots and will become unusable. And obviously, you know, with Nintendo games, they do go up in price. 
and the Wii U's games, they're actually going up in price. Um, it's kind of weird. Yeah, the Wii U's games, they're going up in value. Like if you go online on eBay and stuff like that, you got, you got games like Mario Kart 8, Super Smash Bros. You know, they're probably going in like 100 to 120 range, but then you got games like Devil's Third and Maiden of Black Water, which is Fatal Frame. Those games are going for almost $1,000. And like, to be fair, a game like, like uh, Devil's Third, it's not a good game. It's literally just, to own that game is like bragging rights or just to say like, I own the most expensive Wii U game. Um, so, but yeah, you can uh, install your physical games onto your Wii U, essentially like a backup. Um, but what makes homebrewing a Wii U so great is that it will be able to play every single Nintendo game up to the Wii U. You can install them on your Wii U and you can play them. You can play every single game from the NES, the SNES, Nintendo 64, GameCube, Wii, Wii U, and I'm not forgetting also a handheld, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, DS, 3DS, you can see how, <laughs> you can really see how the Wii U has this potential to become one of the greatest Nintendo consoles of all time because it's literally a Nintendo library, Nintendo museum I meant. It literally can hold every single Nintendo game on the Wii U. And people don't know, it's really easy to actually do this. It's not hard at all. There's safe measures to mod your Wii U because when you do mod your Wii U, you can back up uh, the NAND, which basically means like if you ever run into problems while modding your Wii U and you brick it, you have like, I think it's like the Wii U system files on backed up so you can reinstall them, which basically saves your Wii U from being bricked. And then I'm not gonna talk about how to get these games because that's, that's iffy territory. I'm not going to go into that. I'm not going to talk into piracy, but I'm just saying that there are ways, very easy ways to get all these games on your Wii U. And I've done it. I, I don't care anymore. I've done it. I have GameCube games on my Wii U, so I can play like the original Animal Crossing, which is also another really expensive game. Um, you know, I can play the original Wind Waker. I can play, you know, Japanese hard to get games on my Wii U. You know, I can play any Nintendo 64 game that I want. You know, I've got Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. They're all just installed on my Wii U and they're all icons on my home screen. So I can literally just search it up, click it and play it. It's just, yeah, well, <laughs> if, if you really want to know how great the Wii U is when you homebrew it, just look up all the many YouTube videos out there. Um, yeah. And then there's this other thing. There's a community out there who are literally bringing Nintendo's online functionalities back to life. They're bringing them up from the grave and it's and they're pretty much bringing back like the Miiverse, online play, even the eShop to some extent. And uh, this community, they're calling it Pretendo. And basically what it is, is basically what I just said you'll be able to play online again and all that other great stuff and you know they're working really hard they're um they're like they're trying to bring as much as they can back it is crowdfunded um but they're pretty open with their progress uh they've got a twitch channel where they actually stream themselves developing all the functions and stuff like if you go on their website you can see that they've you know, bought back all the functions for like the friends list on the Wii U. So you can add people, you can delete people, you can block people. Um, and they're bringing back all like functionalities for like individual Wii U games online, like Mario Kart 8, like the leaderboards for each individual game. It, they got their hands cut out for them. <laughs> I think especially now that the um, online for the Wii U is going to be shut down. Yeah, I mean, no pressure to them. Like what they're doing is literally just as as a fan it's just a love project and you know there's no rush for them because what they're doing is honestly fantastic and it's game preservation and i think that's something that's really important and i think it's something that nintendo honestly really doesn't care about they don't care about game preservation 
they've the only preservation they care about is just re-releasing old games over and over again and expecting you to just pay for them over and over again and i'm just over it like i'm i wouldn't be shocked if by the time the switch 2 comes out that nintendo re-releases all their games again and expect you to pay for them again that's just where like the wii u as is at. i don't think a lot of people understand how great the wii u is when you homebrew this thing it's the ultimate wii u console it's the ultimate nintendo console it's literally a nintendo museum you can play all the zelda games you can play almost every single nintendo game on it and then you can play you can play playstation games xbox games it's just it's pretty crazy yeah so anyway, guys, that's kind of just what I really want to talk about. I just kind of wanted to talk about the untapped potential of a homebrewed Wii U and why I think you really should start getting on board with this, especially with the state of, of a vanilla Wii U. If you love the Wii U and you're just, you really want to go back and play all these games and just go back and see like how great the Wii U really can be, I hope this video helped you out and gets you some ideas. It's not illegal or anything like that to homebrew your Wii U. You are allowed to homebrew your Wii U. However, when you get into like piracy and stuff like that, that's stuff you will just need to figure out yourself. So yeah, anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And with that, I will see you soon. Peace out guys.